Hello, Rhiannon and Jeff. So I just want to shoot a little video here, kind of explaining what in the world is going on with this ocean piece of art. It's got so much going on and it's like each little area is like its own little universe of things happening. And uh, so I'll step back and it normally goes this way. It's just easier for me to shoot video, um, having it stand up like this. So this is not a frame. It is wood, but it is not like your typical frame. This whole piece of art is literally floating and encapsulated in resin throughout here. Oh my gosh, look at, you can tell I've been working hard today. Um, it's completely floating. Now, the reason this is that kind of a Caribbean teal aqua um, is because this whole area glows. So it glows in aqua and that's what um, this client wanted. It can be clear. It can be, it can have a white glow. It can have a blue glow. I am all about bioluminescence and got to spend time at a bioluminescent lagoon in um, Belize. So a lot of my art is inspired obviously by the ocean, but also by bioluminescence. So this piece, it has like these waves of glow throughout. So it's kind of like a, a whole nother piece of art at night. Okay, so as far as elements and embellishments, you can send me some sand that maybe you guys pick out as a family um, from Maui. So you can see like my sand is, that is some real legit sand. That's not craft store sand. This is sand from Belize that I got from my property. And I've just kind of added it throughout on my seashore. And then I've got mother of pearl and I inlay that into my waves. And then here I've got some abalone as well. And what I like about adding things like abalone and mother of pearl is that I like the idea of my art changing when you walk by it like that. There is something so special to me about art looking alive. So that's why you'll see some um, iridescence, whether it's in the shimmer or it's in the natural um, items that I use. And then this throughout here is just a little touch of luxury. Um, again, I love natural elements. I love rocks, metals. So this is 24 karat gold. And I've just added little streaks into the waves. I don't want it to be I guess the phrase would be, you know, gaudy and obnoxious. So it's real subtle. I kind of like that. It sort of looks like, you know, like little islands, little keys, nothing loud, but just enough to be extremely beautiful when the light hits it. The other thing I've got is there's texture and I know you're not here. I'm like, touch this. You've got to feel this, but you could feel these little, I call them 3D bubbles. They're little glass balls of various sizes and they just look like little bubbles. So I add them a little bit here and there. There's some right here. They're iridescent and they just look like, and it just kind of adds to the depth. This piece has uh, maybe five layers, I'm thinking. Um, see way back there, you can see some of the brush strokes. That's, that was like five layers ago. <laughs> um, like, yeah, like five layers ago on the actual canvas. And above that, I've added layers of waves and um, all kinds of additions. So I think I have about covered why I do what I do, like adding things like abalone and I just think it's so magical when you walk by and the piece of art like almost follows you like this spot right here. Like it's not everywhere. It's not a big disco ball, but when the light hits just perfectly, it's like your art is just doing a little dance. 
and it just makes me so happy. So honestly, I paint for me and then I'm always just honored um, when people say, hey, that really resonates with me because I don't paint to be trendy. I don't pay any attention to what are the in colors this year and what's the blah, blah. Um, I just paint because um, one, it's very meditative for me. And two, it's like, I just go into my own little world and sometimes I am just amazed. I'm like, wow, I put everything into that. I put my heart into that. And somebody wants, you know, that little piece of me and they think it's beautiful. And so it's just a big mushy experience for me. And I am super honored that you guys are even considering, um, you know, something like this. I know my art has changed a bit over the last few years. Now I'm like encapsulating my art and it's in this floating um, wood surround. Like this does not come off. You would choose, you would let me know like, what color you want. Um, and I have a, this wood master guy that um, here in Texas, who works with me on encapsulating the whole piece of art right inside of this. And somehow it does not leak out of the back. <laughs> so here's the back. Everything is just beautifully finished. And he does incredible work. He does the, the wood and then placing my art and encapsulating it into the shiny, shiny that you see, which is the resin. The resin alone um, can cost around 400. And you know, there's certain reasons why my art is costing more. One, I'm just more experienced. And, but two, the materials, the materials um, really can get costly. But anyways, I have him do this for my own art here at my um, home here in Texas where we just moved because I like it so much and not only that I have clients in Belize because the art gets so damaged with all the humidity and moisture and this is a solution that's everybody is so excited about um, I have several friends that have this gorgeous beach homes you know right up the beach from us and they're so thrilled about this because their art, the paint just peels right off. So that is the other benefit and why I will be shipping my art to Belize completely encapsulated like this. So I just want you to know also that its durability is like off the hook. <laughs> this is going to be around forever and ever and ever, <laughs> no matter how humid, um, you know, how humid it is for you. But anyways, guys, thanks for listening to me. I'm gonna pour my heart out a bit about why I love what I do. You guys are awesome. Jeff Rhiannon, talk with you soon, guys.